Hello and welcome to Rev Explorers. As promised, we are back with the right review of the 2023 Pulsar NS200. If you haven't checked out the walk around review yet, the link will be on your screen. So go ahead and check out that video first and then we can start with the ride review. As you all know, the updates have got nothing to do with the styling and the design. Hence, the riding posture still remains the same that is sporty and aggressive, giving you an attacking posture. You sit straight so there is no discomfort on your back or your shoulder. Nothing has changed in terms of engine as well. It is the same triple spark liquid cooled engine that we have always known, churning the same power and torque figures. The engine is refined and rev hungry. I really like to push it to its limit. However, with the new lighter alloys and front suspension, the power to weight ratio has increased, which somewhat contributes in better performance. The power delivery is still linear and it is a rev happy motor. Along with being sporty, the engine is efficient enough to not disappoint you with the figures it can deliver being a 200cc engine. The motor comes mated with a slick 6-speed gearbox. The throughput is even better. The gear shifts are very smooth with no false neutral and the clutch operation is also smooth. Although I would like to point out that Bajaj still held back on adding a slipper crush to this bike. Why hold back this motorcycle on the roads when we can utilize Bajaj's chuck and track? The brakes are amazing and to my surprise, the new Grimaga calipers have a very good stopping power. They have been carried from the N250. The dual channel ABS is a good safety net but it is very intrusive. I believe with this level of intrusion, Bajaj should look at making it switchable. The bite of the brakes is good but the feedback is on a lower side. The front 37mm telescopic forks have been replaced with the new 33mm upside down forks which makes the bike lighter and more sports oriented. They are stiff and man are they the right toy for you on this track, giving good amount of confidence and grip. This motorcycle is now more fun to take into the corners. The high speed stability has also increased. Although we were not able to push the bike to its actual top speed due to windy conditions. But I can tell you this, the NS is connected to the tarmac and is fun to ride around the track. I really appreciate Bajaj for bringing out these updates because they were long overdue, keeping in mind today's market. I feel that there are few more updates that NS200 should get to make it the wolf of the 200cc segment. I always wanted to and I finally got to ride the NS200 on the Bajaj's Chakan track and it was fun riding this motorcycle. It is fun riding this motorcycle on the city, highways as well as on this track and that is why I am a happy owner of the NS200 from the past 6 years. This bike won't disappoint you because it has the fuel injection, it has better power, it has better suspension and better braking system. I hope that sums it up all. So this in your garage, 1.47 lakhs ex showroom daily, that's it. I hope you did enjoy this video. Well, like, subscribe and share. And we are on Instagram. Pe bhi hum hai. So bye bye, see you there.